going to keep going up. And you know, I've got this thing trimmed down so you can see the bow rise a little bit. It certainly is starting to plow because I'm starting to push the water out uh, to the side on it. And we're running around 12 miles an hour. Of course, I probably more like eight. I just happen to have current with me. And I do have it trimmed down. So as I start to advance in that plowing or that uh, maximum displacement mode or plowing mode, we can see the bow come up. I'm throwing a, a pretty large wave right now. I'm going to keep increasing. That wave is just going to keep getting larger. Uh, the boat's starting to speed up. It's starting to feel like it wants to go to plane. I need to increase that throttle just a little bit more to get it to plane. That's what I'm going to do. I'm around that 33, 3500 range. I can feel the boat actually, I can hear it and feel it increasing and starting to go up on the plane and level off. So it'll be just a little bit more, I'm around 3,700 and that boat definitely planed off. The bow came down and settled in. Just turned a little bit to port here. And now I'm up on plane and my, my engine is trimmed all the way down. And I don't have my trim tabs doing anything. They're all the way up. Just to show you here, I'm going to run one of my trim tabs all the way down. I'm taking my starboard one and running it down. And you can see in the video, the boat is tilting to the right or the starboard side pretty dramatically right now because that one tab is all the way down. So it's making us lean to our starboard side. I'm going to raise that tab up and I'm going to go down on my port side. And we're going to see the boat lean to the port side now pretty heavily. And now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm leaning port with my trim tab. Now, the reason I would use these is if I had a lot of weight in the boat, let's just say, like, we can actually see it right now. Kevin is taking the video. It's kind of making us lean a little bit left right now. So I can just tab down on my right, or my starboard trim tab. And that takes the starboard side of the boat and leans it down. So now the boat runs level. Now I can also use this if I'm running into waves, um, like the rougher seas, I may want to either trim that side down or trim it up into the, the flex spray. Or if I want to control the boat at a slow speed, I'm going to take both my tabs and start going down with them. And then I'm going to actually slow the boat down as well. So now all my forces are trying to keep that bow down. My tabs are down, trying to push the bow down. My engine is trimmed under, so it's trying to put the bow down. What that lets me do is maintain planing speed or near planing speed at a much lower, much lower speed than I was just a moment ago. I'm now going, I chose about 19 miles an hour, but I am with the current right now, which is probably adding four or five miles an hour. This allows me to take that bow and push it into the wave, let it cut those waves out of the way a little bit better so the boat runs a little bit more. Uh, or calm and rough.